opening day is still a month away, but we're already looking ahead to the All-Star game this summer. The Reds and Major League Baseball are contributing to the All-Star fever early. Jackie Sicaricato from Major League Baseball Special Events Director is here to uh, tell us all about it. All right, so we talked about it a little bit before here on 9 on your side at noon. There's a Twitter vending machine yes. at Fountain Square, and this kind of kicks things off today, right? Absolutely. This is our first engagement of the fans in the neighborhood. We're really excited to be here. We wanted to celebrate that tomorrow tickets go on sale for T-Mobile All-Star Fan Fest and for All-Star Sunday. We're giving out all sorts of prizes from this uh, Twitter social media vending machine at Fountain Square. Mm -hmm. We've given away probably about 300 prizes by now. We've got about another 700 to go before we pack it up and go home. And uh, all sorts of prizes, some of the giveaways that we've had at T-Mobile All-Star Fan Fest, caps, t-shirts, autographed baseballs from former uh, spokespeople and all-stars. Uh, before I got into the car here, there's a Joey Votto autographed baseball mm -hmm. that someone had won. Uh, tickets to the events, including the All-Star game. So very exciting. Every box that's open, we're all just waiting for that person to shout. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But now, for those folks who don't have tickets, and that's going to be the majority of us, yeah. the Fan Fest is a great opportunity to kind of get that all star feel. Tell us what we can see there. Absolutely. Just like you mentioned, not everyone gets an opportunity to go to the all star game or even the home run derby. Uh, but T Mobile All Star Fan Fest begins on Friday at the Duke Energy Convention Center, which is July 10th and goes all the way through to Tuesday. We have daily autograph sessions all the hours of the show. We know your fans love mm -hmm. autographs. Uh, so there's opportunities to take pictures with players. We'll have former players. Hall of Famers, uh, current players come to our event on Monday and Tuesday because they're playing all the way through till Sunday. Uh, we'll have giveaways every day. Uh, we'd like to tell everyone to go to allstargame.com, sign up to receive any type of information. But yeah, today is the beginning of the excitement. Oh, and for Cincinnati, it's been since 1988, since uh, you know, the city's been waiting for this. Uh, you've been to all the different venues to check this out. Tell us about you know, the, the, the history here in Cincinnati has got to really play a part, and especially with that fan base we have. Absolutely. This is a city with a lot of great baseball history. Uh, at Timo All-Star Fan Fest, we'll celebrate the history of baseball in this community, in this city, as well as the Reds, who are hosting the All-Star Game. Uh, we'll have an attraction that's called Hometown Heroes that's specific to the city and to the team. But we'll also like to uh, you know, give the fans the complete All-Star flavor. Mm -hmm. So we'll have uh, representatives from all of the teams there. Uh, we have this great exhibit from Cooperstown, uh, the National Baseball Hall of Fame exhibit. Not too many people get a chance to right. go to Cooperstown. Mm -hmm. You get to see some great artifacts, not, not just belonging to the Reds, but to all the other teams as well. Uh, we'll have seminars and Q&As and and just, it's a really great experience for every member of the family. There's something there for the littlest one to the tallest one in your family. And again, those tickets go on sale tomorrow. Jackie, thanks for coming thank in. You. And you know, as she mentioned, All-Star Game Week is July 10th through 14th. And 9 on your side, we'll be with you with everything you need to know as we get closer to the Midsummer Classic.